Hey guys, good morning. I wanted to talk today a little bit about taking care of yourself and putting your oxygen mask on first. If you don't take care of yourself, if you don't love yourself, then how are other people going to love you? And also, how are other people going to respect you if you don't love yourself and if you don't put the time in in order to make yourself taken care of first? You can't take care of other people unless you take care of yourself. That's why when you go on a plane and they are giving the spiel in the beginning where they're talking about putting your oxygen mask on first before you help any children around you, I think that that is so, so important. I love that whole analogy for life because the, the thing is, it's the absolute truth that you can't take care of other people unless you take care of yourself. You should be nicer to yourself than you are to anyone. And there's a lot of talk about loving yourself and about how can I, I don't remember who said it in the group, but someone mentioned that they were having a really hard time with loving themselves and with uh, just kind of having these negative, they were having these negative feelings towards themselves and how do they handle that? And I mentioned that you should pick just one thing that you love about yourself. It's amazing how you can actually go down a route of positivity if you choose just one thing that you love about yourself. And what I challenge you to do is I challenge you to pick one thing that you love about yourself, write it down, write why you love that about yourself and the impact that it makes for you and for other people around you. And then I challenge you to do that every single day to write one thing. It can be the same thing. It could be a different thing. Whatever you want, just write it down on a piece of paper. I think it would be great if you created something uh, for each month. So basically, it's just like your affirmation of the day. But what you could do is you could create something that is a notebook of affirmations. So you have each month, you have January on the top and then you go down and you do 1 through 31 on a piece of paper. Then you're going to put on there one thing that you love about yourself every single day and you're going to create this book that you can then look back on because even if you're in a bad place, even if you feel like you're a worthless piece of crap, like you don't have anything that you're giving in the world, you are important you have benefit, you are on this earth for a reason, and this hard time that you're going through right now is just a season. That's all it is. And sometimes you have to take the hardest climb in order to see the most beautiful view. And that's what I absolutely have been through the last year is just the hardest climb of my life. And then now I'm reaping the benefits and I'm seeing the beautiful view. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to think about your interests. Think about things that you might be good at as far as like there's horseback riding, there's swimming, there's critical thinking, there's creativity, writing, all of these things. And I'm going to put a list on here later on today of things that you might believe deep down because right now you might not believe them. But deep down, get deep down inside you and think about which ones of these things, this little cheat sheet that I'm going to put on there, which ones of these things do I actually think about myself? What do I love about myself? And then create this list for January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, every single day in there. So I want you to just, it's very simple. It would take you know, a period of just a couple of minutes. It should take you just a couple of minutes to think about something that you believe about yourself that is positive, that you love about yourself. And so just create those sheets and I wanna see them. I want you guys to send them in to me. You can post them in the group, whatever you wanna do. But I want to create this book 
that you can look back on. You can look at this book. It's a book of self-love. It's a book of self-appreciation. And so that you can then look back on that when you're having those days where you feel like you're a worthless piece of crap, where you feel like you're not giving anything of value to the world. You just want to lay in bed. You don't want to get up. You don't want to face the day and the challenges of the day. Then you have this self-love book near you. You can take it out. You can look at it and you can really think about how you truly feel about yourself because right now right after when you're in those places and and you're not thinking logically it's not your logical brain that is telling you that you're a piece of crap it's not that it's not you that's actually telling telling yourself that it's this negative voice it's this voice of a demon it's this voice of satan it's this bad bad voice that is in your head that's telling you that you're not enough it's telling you you're not good enough you're not smart enough you're not fast enough you're not creative enough whatever this bad voice is telling you that is not your truth so you need to understand that and you need to create this tool which is a book that you can look at that has things that you love about yourself.